too sticky. Caillou and his daddy were having fun building a model solar system together. Do we have all the planets, Daddy? Hmm. Mercury? Venus? Earth? Mars? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Yes, we have them all. Daddy! Rosie hungry! Okay, Rosie. I'll get you a snack. What that, Caillou? We're building a solar system for show and tell. It's a model showing all of the planets, Rosie. The planets that are way up in the sky, like the stars. This is our planet, Earth. Rosie wasn't very interested in the planets or solar systems. She was more interested in the bright round balls on the table. <laughs> Ball bouncy! Rosie! Come back here! Yay! No, Rosie. These balls are mine for my model. They're Caillou's, Rosie. I'm sure you can find something else to play with. <laughs> we can't have any planets missing from the solar system now, can we? What would you like for a snack, Rosie? Maybe some cheese and crackers? Mmm. There we go. Thank you. Mars? Then Earth? What about you, Caillou? Would you like a snack? Yes, please. I'm hungry. I guess so. It's hard work building the universe. Rosie had no idea what Caillou was talking about. She didn't know anything about the planets. You know, the little red ball? Where is it? Rosie, no, no. I know you took it, Rosie. Give it back. Rosie, do you have Caillou's little red ball? <laughs> yes, she does. It's probably in her pocket. That's my car. That's my keychain. <laughs> you sure carry a lot in your pockets, Rosie. Are you sure that's everything? No ball? No ball. But I know she has it, Daddy. Rosie is always taking my stuff. It's probably in her room. Caillou thought he saw something underneath Rosie's bed. Dust bunnies. Ah! Oh, it must be somewhere. Caillou really wanted to find his ball. He wanted his model to be perfect for show and tell. I can't show off my solar system without Mars. Daddy even said so. We can't have any planets missing from the solar system now, can we? It's got to be here somewhere. Caillou knew that little red planets didn't just disappear into space. I know. It's probably in the living room. How's it going, Caillou? Any luck finding Mars? No, my model is ruined. Couldn't you use something else for Mars, Caillou? Like what? I don't have another red ball. This is all Rosie's fault. I know you're upset, Caillou, but blaming Rosie isn't going to help. And it isn't going to solve your problem. Hmm, what if you color a white ball red? with one of your markers. 
Caillou thought about this for a moment. He really wanted to bring his model to show and tell. I guess it could work. Caillou's new planet wasn't quite as nice as his first one, but he was pleased nonetheless. So, what do you think? I think it's great, Caillou. It's sure to be a big hit at preschool. Miss Martin will love it. Yeah, it is pretty good. Patty cake, patty cake. <laughs> Caillou noticed something moving underneath the curtains. He wondered what it was. suddenly felt terrible. All this time he had been blaming Patty, Rosie. Patty and it was Gilbert who ran off with Mars. Bouncy ball! Yes, Rosie. Bouncy ball. It was Gilbert who took it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blamed you. Are you mad at me? Rosie happy! Well, I'm glad to see you two making up. And now that you have your ball back, Caillou, you can attach it to your model. No, I have a better idea. I want Rosie to have it. Here, Rosie. <laughs> Thanks, Caillou. Rosie was pleased with the ball, and Caillou was pleased too. He had said, sorry, and he and Rosie were friends again. enjoying painting a picture when... Mmm, snack time! Emma? It's not snack time yet, Caillou. You still have time to finish your artwork. But Emma's eating her snack. Emma has permission to eat extra snacks throughout the day. Extra snacks? Caillou didn't think it was very fair that Emma got to eat snacks when he didn't. I have diabetes. What's that? That's a good question, Caillou. I think it's time to explain it to the entire class. Children, gather around for a moment, please. Emma's parents have asked that Emma and I share something with you. Emma recently found out that she has type 1 diabetes, or juvenile diabetes. It's a kind of illness that some children get. Illness? Oh, no! Now, you don't have to worry about getting diabetes from Emma. It isn't contagious, like a flu. You can't catch it from others. What is diabetes? Well, everyone has sugar in their blood. But sometimes Emma's blood doesn't have the right amount of sugar. So Emma measures the sugar in her blood with this machine. She takes medicine, and sometimes she needs to eat extra snacks. It's so I don't feel dizzy or tired. Right. Now, any more questions? Can we have extra snacks, too? <laughs> I'm afraid not, Jay. But we'll have group snack time in a little while. Right now, you can all go back to what you were doing. Miss Martin made everything sound fine. But Caillou didn't feel fine. He was worried about his friend, Emma. Oh, Emma, you forgot your sweater. But I don't want it. But you might catch cold. <laughs> you should wear it, just in case. Um, okay, thanks. Space Captain to co-pilot, are you ready to land? Ready, Captain. There's Planet Mars. Let's go. Uh, hey, where are you going? The planet's this way. Are you dizzy, Emma? Maybe you should come down. Uh, I am fine. 
I'm pretending the slide is a big mountain. Oh, well, I can hold your hand when you come down the slide. No, thanks. I can go by myself. Woo! That night, Caillou was still worried about his friend. Mommy, did you know that Emma is sick? No, I didn't know that. I'm sure she'll feel better in a few days. But why don't you make her a get well card? Okay. Hi, Emma. I can carry your bag for you. No, that's okay, Caillou. But you shouldn't be carrying anything heavy. Let me. Um, thanks. You can carry mine, Caillou. And mine, too. Hey, thanks, Caillou. Whoa, whoa. Here, Emma, I made this for you. But it's not my birthday. <laughs> I know that. It's a card to make you feel better. Thanks, but I feel fine. Oh, well, that's great. Caillou was very pleased. He thought since Emma was feeling fine, she must be all better. Now, arms up, reach high up to the sky on your tippy toes. Good job. Emma, it's time for your snack. Caillou was confused. Emma had said she was fine. So why did she still need to have extra snacks? Okay, children, now down, down, and touch your toes. Emma must still be sick. It was lunchtime, and Caillou was once again feeling a little worried about Emma. Do you want my chicken noodle soup? No, thanks. I have my own lunch. Caillou was disappointed. Chicken noodle soup always made him feel better. Okay, class. Just a quick reminder. After lunch, we're going to have our track and field afternoon. Yay! 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 Fun! Track and field! Yay! <laughs> okay, you two. Are you ready to race? Caillou didn't want to race against Emma, knowing she wasn't feeling well. I'll win for sure. And that'll make Emma feel even worse. You should run real slow. Okay, kids. Caillou had vowed to run very slowly until he saw Emma speeding across the grass. Emma, wait up! Hooray! It's a tie! You sure don't act sick. Sick? I'm not sick. But you've got type 1 diab... something. Type 1 diabetes. It's not like a cold or flu, Caillou. It's just something I have to live with. Every day? Uh-huh. Every day. See this pump? It gives me my medicine so I feel well. I check my blood sugar level a lot. And the snacks help so I don't feel dizzy. As Emma talked about all the things she does to take care of herself, Caillou began to feel a lot less worried. Do you feel dizzy now, Emma? No. Then I'll race you again! <laughs> okay. Caillou was happy that Emma could still do fun things. She had to live with an illness, but she could still live a full and energetic life. having a very busy morning. Mummy had lots of things on her to-do list today. And Caillou and Rosie were helping. After they put away the groceries, they did the laundry. <laughs> ah, all 
done. Thank you so much for helping, Caillou. What else is on your to-do list? The next item on my list is running through the sprinkler. Yay! <laughs> after lunch. Now, where is that pot holder? I'm sure I had it. Ah, come wash your hands. Finished! Someone's got a milk mustache. <laughs> puppy! Where'd Dingo Puppy? It was just by your chair, wasn't it, honey? Where did it go? Everything's disappearing. My sock, the pot holder, Rosie's puppy. You're right, Caillou. It's very strange. I can hear Rosie's dingle puppy. <gasps> puppy? Shh, Rosie. Listen. Under the couch. Is Dingle Pup walking around on his own? No! Gilbert took him! And the pot holder! And my sock! <laughs> Puppy! So that's where everything's been disappearing to. You've gotten your claws into them, haven't you? He sure likes scratching things. No, Gilbert, shoo! Okay, who wants to go to the playground? Me! Let's find you a new pair of socks before we go, Caillou. Let's go, Mommy. I need to find my house keys first. Gilbert, did you take my keys? Something tells me you did. Not under here. Where did you put them? I don't think Gilbert took your keys, Mommy. No? He took the sock and the pot holder and Dingle Puppy because they're all soft and he can scratch them with his claws. Your keys aren't soft. That's very good thinking, Caillou. You may be right. But then, where are my keys? I know how to find lost things. You have to go backwards and look in every place you went to. That sounds like a good plan. Can you show me how? The last thing we did was have lunch. Follow me. <laughs> Rosie, go backwards. Now we look. Not here. No. So where were we before lunch? Outside! Come on! <laughs> Are my keys in there, Rosie? No! They're not out here. Where to now, Caillou? Before this, we were in the laundry room, taking the clothes out of the washer. Why, that's right! Follow me! No keys! Nope. Not here. Before this, we were in the kitchen putting the food away. But we already looked there. Before that, we brought the groceries inside. No keys here. I know I had them when we came in because I used them to open the door. I still think Gilbert took them. Oh, Gilbert! Oh, Gilbert! I know you didn't take them. 
Caillou decided to keep going backward and look in the very last place Mummy had her keys. Mommy, Mommy, I found them! I found them! I left them in the door. Oh, what a silly thing to do. Oh, Gilbert, you didn't take my keys after all. I'm sorry. Mommy, can we give Gilbert my old sock to keep so we can scratch it all up? He really likes doing that. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> You're welcome. Pig out now? Yes. And off we go. Caillou had done a terrific job helping Mommy find her keys. And Gilbert wasn't to blame. This time. Copycat Clementine. Okay, children, time for Music Circle. Music Circle was one of Caillou's favorite activities. And Clementine was one of Caillou's favorite friends. Clementine, I saved a seat for you. Thanks, Caillou. We've got a special Music Circle today. We're going to make our own instruments out of things people usually put in their recycling boxes. Great! Wow. Okay. Wonderful, Jeffrey. Oops. Wow, neat. Clementine, look at my drum. Good idea. A drum? But I made a drum. Look, my drum is drumsticks. What a great drum, Caillou. And what did you discover, Clementine? I made a drum too, but look what I can do. Terrific. Clementine, you can tap out a beat for us and we'll add the other instruments one at a time. Caillou wanted to tell Miss Martin that he should lead because playing the drum was his idea. But it was too late. Leo? Good! Jeffrey and Jason? Now Xavier? And Caillou? Great playing, everyone! Thank you, Clementine, for getting us started. No fair! Clementine just copied me. The next day, Caillou had forgotten all about Clementine copying his drum. I'm going to build a road on my mountain. Hey, this can be my bulldozer. Good idea! Look, a garage! Wow, cool road! Can I drive a car in it, Clementine? Sure! You can drive on my road, Leo. Thanks, maybe later. This one has a garage. Caillou felt a little frustrated. Building the road had been his idea, not Clementine's. She had just copied him. Caillou was looking forward to snack time. Today, everyone was allowed to bring a snack from home. Sorry, no room, Clementine. 
There's room on that side. My snack is carrots. What's yours, Caillou? Why? Do you want to copy my snack, too? <laughs> that night, Caillou was still upset with Clementine. What's the matter, Caillou? Clementine is a copycat, and I don't like it. A copycat, hmm? Why don't you tell me what she did? First she copied my drum, and then she copied the road I made in the sand. I see. Well, I'm sure she didn't do either to annoy you. Clementine is your friend. Right, Caillou? Yeah, I guess so. Today, we're all going to make beautiful birds. And you can decorate yours any way you like. Can I sit here, Caillou? Okay. Just don't copy me. I like what you're doing, children. Jeffrey, you're supposed to stick the googly eyes to your bird, <laughs> not to yourself. <laughs> Caillou? Nothing. Don't look. Caillou was so proud of his bird. He couldn't wait to show it off. Caillou, your bird is beautiful. I like the tail. I'm going to do that too. But Clementine, you're being a copycat. Boy, that's a lot of red feathers, Jeffrey. <laughs> Maybe we could put a few on your bird. My goodness, look at these beautiful wings and tail feathers. Clementine, why don't you tell the class about your bird first? Caillou didn't think it was fair that Clementine got to talk about her bird first. Um, it's a colorful bird. And what gave you the idea to make the feathery wings? Caillou gave me the idea. He's good at stuff. He makes the best drums and knows how to build great roads. And his bird made me want to make mine even better. This made Caillou feel proud. Clementine was only copying him because she liked his ideas. Good for you, Caillou. It's wonderful of you to share your creativity with others. Thanks. And thanks, Clementine. Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> I think Jeffrey wants to share with others, too. <laughs> From that day on, Caillou didn't mind if Clementine copied him. Knowing how much she liked his ideas made him feel proud. Caillou's Poster Now what do we need, Mommy? We need some peaches, Caillou. Caillou liked helping Mommy at the grocery store. Peaches, check. Next up, apples. Did somebody say apples? Check it out. I just got in a fantastic bunch of apples today. Fresh from a local farmer. Mmm, I love apples. Me too. And do you know why fresh apples are so good? Because they taste yummy in an apple pie? <laughs> I was going to say because you can make applesauce with them. But I like your answer too. So, what else is on your list? Wow, those are some fun drawings. Did Mommy draw those? <laughs> no, I did them. Caillou showed Ted some of his drawings of cars, and rockets, and even one of Gilbert. Would you be interested in drawing a poster for my shop window? Yeah! <laughs> a poster of what? Mm, something to celebrate fall. You know, trees and leaves and such. 
there might even be a big bag of apples in it for you. Really? Uh-huh. And you might even get your picture in the local newspaper. Okay, everyone, it's art time. What are you doing, Caillou? Ted from the grocery store wants me to draw a poster. It might even be in the newspaper. Wow! That's a wonderful opportunity, Caillou. We're all very excited for you. So, what are you going to draw? Um, maybe a garden with fruit trees and vegetables and Ted holding up a big red apple. And a bunny? Maybe. Caillou was excited to start his poster. He began by drawing some apple trees. That doesn't look right. They don't look good either. Maybe I'm not such a good drawer. Caillou was feeling frustrated until he noticed someone else's drawings. That's your picture up there, right, Leo? Uh-huh. It's good. Could you draw some apple trees for me? Okay. Now those are great apple trees. But my veggies look like... Squashed pumpkins. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I'm good at drawing. I can draw some carrots for you. And a bunny. Okay. Thanks, Clementine. I like the rabbit. I need to color it in. Caillou noticed Jason was really good at coloring inside the line. Jason, do you want to help me color in my poster? Yeah, okay. Can I help? I'm really good at drawing people. Great, you can draw Ted. Uh, what does Ted look like? He's kind of tall, he likes to smile a lot, and... Oh yeah, he wears a blue shirt. How's this? It looks exactly like him. Hmm, something is missing. I know, the sun. Caillou was feeling very proud of the poster. It's very good, Caillou. Do I get my apples now? <laughs> I'm sure Ted will give them to you soon enough. Caillou, I really like your poster. You're quite the artist. Thank you. Ted says Caillou is going to have his picture in the newspaper. You must be so excited. Isn't that wonderful, Leo? Yeah, I guess so. Just look at those trees and that cute little bunny. Wonderful. Caillou liked having people say nice things about the poster. But some of those nice things were said because of his friend's work. Here you go, Caillou. A big bag of apples for your terrific poster. You've earned it. You, Ted. Your mom will bring you back tomorrow so I can take a photo of you and your masterpiece for the newspaper. Okay? Uh, okay. You must be How so come you proud. didn't say something? <laughs> I helped you with we the poster. And Clementine and Jason and Jeff. I know, but Great. it was supposed to be my poster. Come on, Is something the matter, Caillou? Yeah, it's the poster. I am. Um... I didn't do it all by myself. Oh, I see. Did Leo help you? Uh-huh. But I drew the sun. Only Leo drew the trees. And Clementine drew the bunny. Some other kids helped, too. It sounds like you all worked on it as a group. Yeah. I should tell Ted I had some help. And then he can let everybody know we made it together. And I know how. Okay, now let's see a big smile. Say applesauce. Applesauce! Thanks for inviting us to be in the picture, Caillou. We all worked on the poster, so we should all 
will be in the picture. I can't believe we're going to be in the newspaper. Cool! are delicious. Now, let's just get one more photo. That day, Caillou learned how to give credit where it was due. And sharing the photo with his friends felt wonderful. Playhouse play date. Today was a big day at Caillou's house. Daddy was making a new playhouse for Caillou and Rosie. And it was almost finished. Here's some lemonade, Daddy. Phew. Thanks, you two. I wish I could help. <sighs> Believe me, bringing lemonade is a huge help. Besides, you're going to decorate the house. Hi, Caillou. Wow, it looks almost done. It is almost done. All it needs are Caillou's finishing touches. I get to paint it however I want and put furniture inside. Do you want curtains? I bet you could have my old ones. And can I help you paint? I have my own brushes and everything. <laughs> okay. Yay! I'll get my brushes and the curtains. This is going to be fun. And it was fun. Caillou and Sarah worked very hard on the playhouse. They cleaned it. <clears throat> they painted a garden on the side wall. They even put up Sarah's curtains, thanks to Daddy's old curtain rod. Then Sarah thought of one more thing for the playhouse. It's a telephone. I made it with my mom last year. Does it really work? Uh-huh, as long as you keep the string tight. Let's try it. I'll go inside the playhouse and you can phone me. phone before they come in. <laughs> okay, but who's everyone? I have an idea. Come on. Mm -mm. Rosie, do it. Mm -hmm. Mommy! Mommy, can we invite Clementine and Leo to a playhouse party? That sounds like fun. As long as Rosie's invited, too. Party! Yay! <laughs> You could have it on Saturday. Daddy might even help you make blueberry muffins for everyone. Yum! I love blueberry muffins. Thanks, Mommy. Did I fill it too much? No, that's just right. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just a moment, I'll get Caillou. Sarah has something to tell you. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Caillou. I'm sick with a cold. My mom says I can't come over to play until I get better. Because I might make you sick, too. Oh, no! Yeah. It's too bad about our playhouse party. I know. We'll really miss you. You mean, you'll still have it? Sure. I'm not sick, and we're already making muffins. Oh. Well, go ahead, then. Have fun without me. Thanks, Sarah. Bye. 
What did Sarah say about the party? She said, have fun. Really? Well, that's nice of her. I thought you might want to put off the party until she's better, but it sounds like she doesn't mind. But Caillou wasn't so sure. Did Sarah mind? Ring, ring. Hi, it's Clementine. Come in. I like your play phone. Thanks. Sarah helped me make it. I like the painted garden. Thanks. Sarah and I painted it together. It sounds like Sarah helped a lot. How come she's not here? She's sick today, but she really wanted to come. Hello, lunch delivery. Here you go. Sandwiches, fruit, and... Wolfberry muffins! Mmm, I love blueberry muffins. So does Sarah. Is everything all right? I wish Sarah were here. Maybe she's all better now. I don't think so, honey. Maybe I should have waited to have the party. Until Sarah was better. Would you like me to take Sarah some muffins? Yes, please. Mommy, could you take something else to Sarah, too? Thank you. Maybe later. Oh, hi there, Sarah. Caillou wanted you to have these. Thank you. He asked me to bring something else, too. It's a good thing we keep lots of extra string around the house. Hey, when you're better, can you make a phone for me? And me too? <laughs> sure. Sarah was a very good friend. Caillou was glad to let her know this, even if it meant telling her through a tin can. One evening, things were getting a little wild at Caillou's house because Caillou and Rosie were excited about the animals they were going to see at the zoo. Arr, I want to see the tigers. Wah! Wah! And pallets. <laughs> I know you're excited, kids, but we're not going until the weekend. Hey, look. The zoo is offering camel rides. Really? That'll be fun, sitting way up there on the camel's hump, don't you think? Yay! Camel! Riding on a camel sounded like fun. But after seeing a picture of a camel, Caillou wasn't so sure. The next day at preschool, Caillou asked Leo what he thought of camels. Do you like camels, Leo? Nuh-uh. They're weird. They have big humps on their backs. And big googly eyes. And a funny long neck. And they don't like people. And they spit. Really? really? Ew. Ew. Here we are, the zoo. What should we do first, kids? How about a camel ride? No, um, I want to see the monkeys first. Can we please? Monkey, monkey. <laughs> okay, little monkeys, come on. <laughs> Look, Rosie, I'm a monkey. <laughs> We've been watching the monkey for a long time. I think Rosie wants to go now, Caillou. Why don't we go for a camel ride? Yay! Camel ride! Caillou didn't want to go for a camel ride. But he didn't know how to tell Mommy and Daddy. 
Rosie likes parrots. Maybe we should go see the birds next. Right, Rosie? Parrots! <laughs> okay, come on then. Rosie liked watching parrots, but soon she'd had enough of this too. Go now? But you like the parrots, Rosie. Let's stay and watch them some more. <laughs> Look, I'm a parrot. You be a parrot too. No. Bye bye, Pally. Look, kids, the camel rides are nearby. But look, there are sea otters. We like sea otters, don't we, Rosie? Can we go, please? Okay, we'll go see the sea otters, and then we'll go see the camel. Caillou pretended to be very interested in watching the sea otters, but even he was getting a little bored. Go now, Mommy? Yes, Rosie, it's time to go now. Come on, Caillou, let's go and see the camel. But I want to go back and see the monkeys again. Can we, please? Caillou, you know you can tell us if something's bothering you. I don't want to go for a camel ride. They don't like people, and they spit. Spit? I've always heard camels are really nice, but you don't have to go for a camel ride if you don't want to. It's your choice. But maybe you should come and see the camel before you decide. Caillou thought about this. He had to admit, he was a little curious about camels. Okay. Hi, camel! Hi there. Are you next up for a camel ride? We're not quite ready yet. Caillou here just wants to watch. That's okay. Caillou, this is Rudy. He loves meeting new people. Do you want to come and say hi? Does he spit? Spit? No, not usually. He's very friendly. And he's a pretty nifty animal. <coughs> Take a look at Rudy's feet. <laughs> he only has two toes. That's right. Camels need toes like that for walking in the desert their toes spread out to keep them from sinking in the sand. And when camels walk, they step with both legs on one side of their body and then both legs on the other side. Not many creatures walk like this. Camels were becoming more and more interesting to Caillou. What else do you know about camels? Well, did you know that camels are the only animals with a hump like this? Most people think camels store water in their humps, but they actually store fat. With all that fat, they can go a long time without eating. Up to two weeks. Two weeks? That is a long time. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a camel. Would you like to touch Rudy? I do it! <laughs> Come on! Hi, Rudy. Caillou was pleased that Rudy didn't spit on him. In fact, Rudy didn't seem to mind him at all. Would you like to help feed Rudy? Um... Come on, Caillou. We'll feed Rudy together. Rudy was very gentle. Caillou was amazed. So, who wants to go for a camel ride? Me, please. Hi, Kama. Okay. Mm. Up we go, then. <gasps> wow, I'm doing it. I'm riding a camel. Look, Mommy. Look, Daddy. Way to go, Caillou. Our turn next, Rosie. Rides are really fun. I like Rudy. Can we come back again sometime? Sure. I don't see why not. And when Rudy walks, he moves both legs on one side and then both legs on the other side. And it's really fun. Wow. wow. I can't wait to go to the zoo and have a camel ride. Caillou didn't just overcome his fear of camels. He inspired others to do the same. 
It's not too big for me. It was after preschool, and Caillou was still getting dressed to go home. Gotta make sure we're all bundled up. There, finally, we're all set. Wave goodbye to Miss Martin. Bye-bye! Bye, Miss bye. Bye, Martin! Bye, Caillou. <laughs> this way, Rosie. The big hill looked very exciting. Can we go tobogganing, Daddy? Please? Not today, but tomorrow's Saturday. We'll come back then. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> come on, Rosie. <laughs> tomorrow, I'm going to go down the big hill. Hmm. It's pretty big. Maybe you should wait and see what you think tomorrow. But Caillou couldn't keep his eyes off the <laughs> big hill. He was feeling very sure of himself. <laughs> Mommy! Guess what, Mommy? Daddy's going to take us tobogganing tomorrow, and I'm going to go down the big hill. Well, that's exciting news. B but don't you think the big hill might be too big, Caillou? It's not too big for me. Like I said, Caillou, wait until tomorrow and we'll see. Daddy, wake up. It's time to go to the park. We're all bundled up. I helped Rosie. We couldn't find one of her boots, so I lent her one of my old ones. <laughs> oh, boo! Daddy whispered too, just like Caillou and Rosie, so they wouldn't wake up Mommy. Good job, Caillou. But I think I know where to find Rosie's missing boot. Come on, we'll fix some breakfast before we go. All aboard! <laughs> go, 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 go! Faster, Daddy! Go faster! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hold on to Daddy, Rosie. It's a big hill. Too big for you by yourself, but not too big for... The hill was a lot bigger than Caillou had thought. Caillou go? The hill was too big for Caillou. He didn't know what to do. You know, Caillou, playing by yourself is okay, but sometimes it's more fun playing with a friend. Instead of playing on this big hill by yourself, it might be more fun to play with Rosie on the little hill. What do you think? Yeah, playing with Rosie would be more fun. Want me to go down the little hill with you, Rosie? You can be in front. Yeah! Go, 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 go! <laughs> <laughs> Andre. It's not too big for me. Daddy, can I go watch Andre go down the big hill, please? Okay, but be careful. Yeah! Come on, 
on, Caillou, hurry! I want to go down the big... Whoa! The hill was a lot bigger than Andre thought, too. It really is big! Too big for you? No way! It's just... that, uh... The hill was too big for Andre, but he didn't want to tell Caillou. <laughs> Sometimes it's more fun playing with a friend. Huh? Instead of playing on the big hill all alone, you could play with me and Rosie on the little hill. Yeah, we can all play together. That will be more fun. Yeah! Come on, Caillou, let's go. Awesome! <laughs> I thought Andre was going down the big hill. I think he was scared of the big hill. Hmm. Well, there's nothing wrong with being afraid of something. But sometimes, it's not easy to say you're afraid. Caillou knew just what Daddy meant because he didn't want to say he was scared to go down the big hill. Just like Andre. I told Andre it would be more fun to play with me and Rosie. So then, he didn't have to say he was scared. That was a good thing you did for your friend, Caillou. Maybe next year, Andre and I will go down the big hill. Come on, Caillou! Give us a push, Daddy! Go, 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 go! Yahoo! <laughs> Caillou learned that it was okay to be afraid of something. He would slide down the big hill. Someday, Caillou's Flying Saucer. Caillou and Leo were playing space adventure. Have you seen any alien robots around, Daddy? Alien robots? Hmm, let me think. I'm on a... Space Adventure! And Leo is the alien robot. <laughs> now I get it. Well, last I saw, the alien robot was in the kitchen, drinking lemonade with Rosie. Lemonade? Save some for me! What? It's not lemonade, Caillou. It is rocket fuel. That's what alien robots like to drink. Suddenly, Caillou saw something strange. I don't believe it. I think I just saw a flying saucer. Flying saucer? Was a flying saucer? Um, it was round and flat and silver and shiny. There! It looked just like that. It was kind of small, but it must have been a flying saucer. Flying saucer! Your dinner is getting cold, Caillou. Sorry, Mommy. But I don't want to miss the flying saucer when it comes back. You know, it might have been something else that you saw. But what else is round and flat and silver and shiny and flies around? Flying saucer! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Sweet. What did the aliens look like, Caillou? I didn't see the aliens, just their flying saucer. But we think they were green and had three eyes, just like in the comic book. Wow. wow! That sounds very exciting, Caillou. But you know, sometimes the things we see aren't really what we think they are. But what else is round and flat and silver and shiny and flies around? I don't know. It certainly is a mystery. I know! I'll find it and bring it in for show and tell. 
then everyone will see. Yay! Yay! That is very adventurous of you, Caillou. But I hope you won't be too disappointed if you don't find a flying saucer. Don't worry. I'll find it. Just wait. Caillou decided he would try to catch the little flying saucer. Soon as the flying saucer comes back, we run outside and catch it with Daddy's net. Okay, Rosie? Flying saucer. Right. <laughs> Gilbert, you're gooping up my binoculars. I won't be able to see the flying saucer. Yeah, flying saucer. Flying saucer! Flying saucer! <gasps> Caillou realized that catching a flying saucer was harder than he thought. He needed a new plan. All right. If your flying saucer comes back, I guess you can try to take a picture of it to show your class. Thanks, Mommy. But if it doesn't come back, that's okay, too. Because everyone will know you tried your best. It'll come back. I know it will. Then I'll show everybody. Thanks, Mommy. Rosie, they're silver like the one we saw. <laughs> Look! Rosie, <laughs> Daddy, Mommy, Gipper! And no flying saucers. You tried your best. That's what's important, Caillou. And you did take some very funny photos of your family, especially this one of Gilbert. I, I think I have a frame for it so you can hang it in your room. was disappointed. It wasn't a flying saucer after all. It was only a pie plate that had blown out of the recycle bin. Flying saucer! It's not a flying saucer, Rosie. It's just stuff blowing around in the wind. Thank you, Rosie. The wind sure has been blowing the last few days. Why so glum, Caillou? I told everyone at school I'd find a flying saucer. Now I have to tell them it was just a pie plate. I see. You know, Caillou, instead of being disappointed about what you didn't do, you should be proud about what you did do. What I mean is, you didn't prove it was a flying saucer. But you did solve the mystery by proving what it really was. A pie plate. I did do that. Can I please have the pie plate to take to school, Daddy? Flying saucer! <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. It looks like a flying saucer. Yeah, but it's just an old pie plate, and I proved it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Good work, Caillou. You know... I think you've given me a good idea for an art project. <laughs> hey, look! Leo's an alien! A uh, robot alien. I am thirsty. I need a drink of rocket fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou didn't find a flying saucer, but he did enjoy making one with his friends. Mm -hmm.